Hello, I'm Executive Motivational Speaker Anthony Jerusso. Life can be confusing. Many things in life are the same or similar. You might not know what you desire, but you do desire something. You can't have everything. So pick the best that suits your needs. Everyone wants something. Many, but not all, to clarify, many, but not all, poor people want free stuff and want to hurt others from achieving their own success, meaning that they don't want other poor people to be middle class or successful. And I have seen that amongst traveling around the world. It's not just here in the USA. The same stuff goes on in other countries as well. Many rich people want poor people to get off their asses and get a job. So then those poor people can afford to become middle class and have a much better lifestyle. Remember, it's the mega rich who create large companies that employ a lot of people, including poor people, that can make poor people wealthier and join the middle class, which is very, very nice of these wealthy capitalists. Thank you. The wealthy statistically, not every wealthy person, but the majority of wealthy people, millionaires, billionaires, and the people who have the worth of trillions of dollars whether if it's in our own currency or foreign currency, when you add it all together, these are the people who create the jobs and grow the economy. Good people. And they really do want the poor to have similar experiences that wealthy people have in abundance. That is why the wealthy people get so frustrated and upset with poor people because the poor people just want to be like parasites and get free stuff. Right? Parasites like mosquitoes, worms, right? They feed and get free stuff, blood, whatever it is that parasites do to suit their own needs. Don't be a parasite. Go and be a higher class ordered animal. Now, this might sound a little harsh, but remember, I'm not here to slander poor people. I'm here to help you figure out what it is you want to do with your life. Okay? You can keep all the dust, dirt, cockroaches, mold, mildew. You can keep all that for yourself if you don't want to clean it up. And believe me, I've actually met middle class people that like the mold and like the mildew and the dust and the cockroaches. Right, they could definitely afford to clean that all up, but they don't want to do it. They don't want to take care of it. That's reality. I would rather meet a poor person who desires to achieve success than a middle class person who doesn't care. But unfortunately, from my own experiences around the world, poor people do not want to take as many initiatives as the middle class does. That is just the reality. And I believe it's because poor people don't have as much respect for themselves and they cry and they complain and I understand it's frustrating to be poor, right? But you have to hold yourself to a higher standard and respect yourself or you're not even going to be able to join the middle class. I want you to join the middle class. I believe that you can do it if you had more motivation. And why do I want to help you out? I'm a motivational speaker!
here. That was easy. Again, it's not about being poor, middle class, or rich. It's knowing what you really want. Do you really want mold, dust, and cockroaches? Some people might say, yes, that's exactly what I want, Anthony. But in reality, most people are going to say, no, Anthony, you're right. I do need to step up my game. Let me ask you this. Would you rather live in a filthy, unsanitary, rotting shack alone, or would you rather have a beautiful wife who would cook for you lavish dinners every single night and you can live together in your house. What do you want? Or maybe you're a woman who just wants a loving husband to cuddle and watch the sunset together every single night. Fine. I'm glad you want that. At least you want something. I'm very proud of you for wanting something. And it's absolutely okay for you to want that. Here's another thing to think about. Do you want your children to benefit from a motivational speaker who may one day in the near future, charge 50 cents per day, which is $3.50 per week, to come and speak to your children so then they can be motivated to go above and beyond just like I do. And maybe they can be successful speaking and reaching out through their network of peers. Or would you not want to have a motivational speaker at all and allow your children to have the exact same problems? What do you want? Let me ask you this. If you needed to fix a car and somebody only gave you a hammer, would you be able to fix that car? No, you wouldn't be able to. You need a whole slew of different tools to fix that car. It's the same with motivation. Motivational speakers play a major role across the United States and the world to give the tools to unmotivated individuals who need the motivation to succeed, who want to get A's on their report card and impress their family, okay? Let me tell you something. If you're a child and you get an A on your report card, especially if it's the first quarter of the year, if your grandparents are still living, they're going to be very proud of you. And if your parents are still living, they're going to be very proud of you. And if you have adoptive parents like I do, right, I'm adopted, I'm very proud to be adopted, then your adoptive family will be proud of you. And it all starts with self-respect. Another thing you're going to want to think about is when you do become old, in your 70s, 80s, and 90s, you got to think about, you know, should I teach my children motivational skills to be motivated to help me when I get old, right? It wouldn't be very nice of your children to just be like, oh, we don't care about you. We're not going to visit you when you're struggling in the hospital. And when you die, we're, we're not even going to have a funeral for you because we just don't care, right? You wouldn't want that, at least in theory. Maybe you do. I don't know. I'm not going to make that decision for you. But what do you want? Do you want your children to help you? Or do you never want to see your children again? It's pretty simple, right? 
It's a simple question. The question is, is that what you want? What do you want? And how do you like it? So really, I should say the questions are. Fair enough. These are all questions only you, the individual, can answer. So post a comment below. If you can, most of the uh, video media platforms that will have this video should have a comment section. And if you can't post a comment and you need to get an account, well, just make an account, right? YouTube is really easy. The other ones are really easy. Daily Motion. Just sign in. Doesn't cost you anything. Take an initiative, go above and beyond, and post a comment. And of course, as always, especially for those principals and people who work at the school district offices, don't be afraid to email me at wondersofanthony at gmail.com. Thank you. And if you're a parent or if you're a student and you want to email me, do that. If you're interested in my paranormal section, email me about that as well, or look me up. I'm on YouTube, I'm on Brighteon, I'm on Dailymotion, Metacalf, and Vimeo. Enjoy!